This is Savannah. She fell in love with Chris. Their relationship began with a lot of scrutiny. The co-workers and the people surrounding us hearing, I'm an abuser, you're a homewrecker, like, yeah. you know, that was a huge controversy. And when the family started sharing their story online, the hate intensified. We basically got destroyed. I would be traumatized if my dad married someone who looks exactly like me. O-M-F-G. I'm gross, I'm a pet I'm a sick fuck. Today, Savannah will ask her cousin how she really felt about their relationship. Did you have any concerns about our relationship? Um... I'm Savannah. And I'm Chris. People say that my wife looks like my daughter. Chris and I have a 16 year age gap. And people say that our age gap is creepy. And we've been together for four years. We met when I came to his salon and I became a stylist and wasn't interested in having any kind of relationship because I just left one. Nor was I filing for divorce. My life was kind of in a tailspin. Once I was separated from my current situation, the more I would just talk to her, be around her, like I felt there was something super special there that I had never really felt before. We hit our relationship at work to begin with. I think our biggest controversy was in the salon. You're not supposed to date your boss. There was a big controversy between if I was a homewrecker or if you cheated. I'm an abuser, you're a homewrecker. That was a huge controversy. We were really nervous about how to talk about it when we actually did start seeing each other, but we just stayed true to who we were. We've gotten married. We have six kids all together, three of them ours, and three of them were from his previous relationship. Ranging from 21 down to 10 weeks. My older children, I think Tizzy initially knew because she worked with us. Tizzy and I are seven years apart. Tizzy initially was very thrown off. So wait, why am I here on a Sunday doing your hair? So I can make TikToks later with Savannah. How has it been for you watching, you know, your dad kind of fall in love at the workplace? Mom moved out. Everything moves super fast. I was working at the salon when they filed for divorce. Anytime I'd walk into the back, I felt like everybody was talking about it. I know that if I was your age, my daddy came home with a girl that was closer in age to me than my dad, I probably would have whooped her ass. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. It's kind of interesting because it definitely ruffled some feathers within oh, people. Oh, it was messy. It was messy. I own this place and I didn't even want to walk through the front door because the talk, you could feel the energy. Totally. I'd never been so uncomfortable. Some of the things that people had said, I just felt that super disrespectful, not what was true at all. I think they work really well together as a couple because there's balance between the two. And I think she brings that out of him where he brings her down and they kind of meet in the middle. See you later. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What you doing? Uh, looking at TikTok. You want to make our TikTok right now? Right now? Yeah. Tizzy and I's relationship is awesome. Do you know what would be funny? When it says, what's your daddy say? Your dad should jump in and be like, what's your daddy say? we started with TikTok was during COVID. I had made the mistake of putting my age above where I was and her age above where she was. And it just started this big, massive tornado of negative comments. Just like anything that you can imagine, the sickest of sickest things that you could think of. Comparing my wife to my daughter, me wanting to date my daughter. I'm gross, I'm a pet I'm a sick those are the nicer ones. You wanna see it? Sure. Oh, good. <laughs> you should get some really good comments on that one. I mean, these ones actually aren't that bad. Beautiful, you look a lot alike. No, are twins. To be fair, they both look like every basic white girl. So she had a baby at seven? I would be f traumatized if my dad married someone who looks exactly like me, O-M-F-G. Someone check the dad's internet history ASAP. He has to be in prison. I just get called like a gold digger and daddy issues. When they call me a gold digger, it discredits like how hard I work. Like I work full time, I'm a full time mom. And it's been shared almost 5,000 5, times. times. What is crazy is that this is on one video and there hasn't been one nice comment. We just basically got 
destroyed. They have nothing better to do with their time, you know. They're obviously unhappy in their life. Yeah, like why does your brain go there? Maybe right. something's wrong with you. I think Hannah's gonna come over. Oh, cool. I invited Hannah to come over today because I wanted to chat with her about her reservations that she might have had about our relationship that we really haven't touched base on in a while. Have you ever read our comments on TikTok? Yeah, they're so frustrating. I hate seeing them. They just, they're so dumb. You called me and she's like, you're getting destroyed online. They called you like a cradle robber or something like that. Like you robbed Savannah <laughs> from the cradle. Watch oh, out, your dad's a pet. <laughs> like yeah. he's gonna come for you. Yeah. It's so frustrating because it just makes no sense. It's like saying you two look alike. But Which you don't, don't at all. You have blonde hair. Mm hmm You That's could look I, like yeah. half of the population of America. Did you have any concerns about our relationship? Um, I did, but I think my big concern was just like it kind of if it was worth it. He has older kids, like are you ready? It was very, very different seeing you glow up and have like this big change. I have never seen Savannah more happier. I think you've gotten more confidence just as like a person. You're just very confident in your family. A lot of our comments is like, I wish I had this relationship with my stepmom. We dream to be like you guys. Yeah, we're just one big family. And it doesn't matter what anybody says because we're happy and that's all that matters. I found my soulmate. I definitely do feel like I have won the lottery. The room lights up and she walks in and it's like, it's definitely a privilege to call her my wife. Oh, I love it. Chris's sensitivity the most. I also found him extremely attractive because he was a really good dad. And I was like, dang, that is hot. 